Hi, this is Debbie. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm going to be creating my, um, my monthly composition notebook. I make one every single month. Uh, and I prep it by gluing two pages together like this. Okay, um, let me show you because I forget to show y'all sometimes and I just explain it, but I've got some other stuff on this one, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. I like to measure where the middle is. The middle has this, uh, this binding right here, this thread binding, and it keeps the book together so well. So what I do is I use, uh, I use glue stick. I use Scotch Create glue stick. I love this glue stick. And I just take one page. See? This normally has a hundred pages, hundred sheets. Okay? And so when I glue two pages together, that makes it 50 pages. So I just glue it like this. And then I stick it over on this side. That's exactly what I do every single time. Uh, so let me do a, one more. This glue keeps the pages stuck together. I haven't had any problem with it. And if I just lay it down like that, then it sticks stays and I don't have any problem. See, those are both glued. And then when I get to the middle, okay, I like to mark it so that I know where I got to the middle. Uh, and then after I've glued all of these, then I close it. I turn it upside down. See, it's you can't read it. It's upside down. And then I start gluing this side. Uh, that way, the two middles, the two, uh, the two sides, uh, one doesn't get all bunched up more than the other. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, that works for me. Uh, you can do it any way you want, uh, but that's that's what works for me, okay? So that's what I've done with this book already. See, it's a lot, it's a lot more fatter than this one. This one hasn't been glued yet, okay? So this is the one that I'm using today. And I got this, it's pen and gear. So I got this at Walmart, but you can get them just about any store. I've even bought them at Kroger. So um, normally they're either a dollar or cheaper. Uh, I would not spend more than a dollar for one of these, but do what you need to do, okay? <laughs> All right, so, and these last a long, long time. So uh, this is ready. And I am making, I am making the month of May, 2021. All right. So this month I decided I wanted to, to have like a country farm kind of thing theme. Uh, I like all these colors and muted flowers, all this. Okay. Um, and I just pulled out a few things that I thought were cool looking and looked like country. I don't know. I haven't, I don't have a set idea. And some of this stuff I, uh, I print off from offline. I, I'm, I'm a member of a lot of different groups and they'll say here, you can have this free to print however you want and use however you want, but don't share it digitally. So I'm not doing that. Um, so I print off things and I stick them in a pile and <laughs> I forget about them. So I can't tell you where I got most of these. Okay. So I just went through and, uh, cut out a few things that I found that I thought were pretty and that looked like country, uh, like a farm. And so, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did with most of these. Okay. Um, these and this, and then I went through, um, my pages of uh, paper, uh, pads of paper, and I found these pretty ones. So I just got these. So um, I don't know if I'm going to use those or not, or any of these. Uh, I think, oh, and this 
These are from, I don't know, it, it was an old book that I, I, I don't know where it came from. I don't know what the book was, but um, it was really old. I did not tea, tea stain this. This is, this is um, from age, the color. Isn't it beautiful? It's just gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, look, see, I, I did not do that. that. That just came like that. So I got it at some thrift store, but I just love it. And I thought maybe I could add it to this to make it look, you know, more farmy. I don't know. Um, so the front, I'm thinking, now I did uh, kind of something like this on one um, not too long ago. But um, this has a, these are in color. Before that, it was a, a silhouette. And it has a really cool background. And I really like it. As I was cutting it out, I was thinking, yeah, I think that's going to look really cool as the cover. So that's what I want to do. And so to not take away from that, I decided to use um, some craft paper. I have this roll that I bought, I don't know how long ago. Um, and it's very thin, very thin paper. Uh, and it's going to last me a lifetime. <laughs> um, but I will link it below. Um, I got it on Amazon, but I like it because it's not thick. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on this page and then I'm going to stick this on top of it so that this has a clean palette to rest on. Okay. So let me get this stuff off of here. So today is, look, I'm looking at my phone. Today is the 20th of April. Um, and it's probably going to take a day or so for this to upload uh, onto YouTube because I live out in the boondocks <laughs> and uh, it takes forever. So, uh, and I, I do it early um, because uh, there's things coming up in May that uh, I wanted to uh, start marking in my... Uh, in my book and I didn't have it made so I wanted to make it I do have a future planning part in in my April um, composition slash uh, junk journal slash uh, planner there we go um, but some of the stuff I don't want to put in the future plan I want to put right into uh, the month of May so that I don't forget it and it doesn't get lost in the in the shuffle because you know sometimes things you know get lost <laughs> um, mostly it's like um, medical appointments or something like that that I don't want to forget you know I do put that sort of thing in my phone you know I've, I've had quite a few people say well why don't you do that well I do I do do that um, but I like to be able to uh, see it coming up instead of just get, uh, you know, a notification that it's it's coming up tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I, I like looking at my, my week in advance. Uh, I always have. Uh, and I also have a month in advance. So I, I just, I like to, to know when things are happening and so I can plan other things around it. So, you know, I mean... If I have an appointment, I don't know about you, but if I have an appointment and, um, I like that, doesn't that look good? Uh, then I like to, if I'm going to be going out of the house and I, I want to plan other things too, so that it's not a waste of time, you know, I can, I can plan, uh, that since I'm going to be in this part of the neighborhood, then, uh, and I can stop and, and shop at this store, you know, or, I can stop and do this, or I can stop and visit this this place, you know. So yeah, I, I like to do that. I like to uh, uh, be thrifty with my time and do things all at once. This is just not working today. Okay, so I'm just going to round this out. All right, and then put this down now. This has a white background and I'm kind of digging it because it's giving a little bit of a emphasis on this against the, the um, brownness of the craft paper. So you know what, I think I'm gonna keep the white on there. I was thinking about, you know, um, inking the edges 
but I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Let me save my corners. It does not want to fit today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right, so let's see. I think that will work. This corner is sticking up. It's driving me crazy. There we go. Okay. So, yep, that'll work. Let me get my wax paper. And go ahead and I'm just using the glue stick um, because it works great for paper to paper. And uh, I don't need to use a wet glue. I try not to use a wet glue when it comes to uh, stuff like this because I don't like my my pages warping if I can help it. <laughs> okay, make sure it's the top. Okay. And I'm just going to guesstimate where it needs to be. There we go. Okay. That looks nice, doesn't it? I like that. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to leave this as it is right now. I may, I know I'm going to put some kind of a, uh, something that says, you know, that this is for May 2021. Okay. So um, let me stop right here and go get my, um, April um, book slash journal and uh, go over it a little bit and see which which sections I need to uh, put in here so I'll be right back okay so I have uh, April's um, journal here and I went through and I figured out what um, what I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna do a flip through of this uh, later so um, just stay tuned for that uh, but I went ahead and printed out some things on my uh, on my Dymo and I forgot to print out I just realized that I forgot to print out my weeks so I'm going to do that really quick. Uh, I love this thing. It was a gift from my husband one year, I think for Christmas or something. And I love it. I, I use this all the time. Um, if I can find the link for it, I will uh, put it down in the description. Uh, but I just want you to know that this is really handy to have it's not one of the real snazzy um cool ones you know um but it's it's a workhorse i mean i have used it for uh, a few years now and i love it i love it so let's see i've got week one week two week three week four I mean, I, I like to print things too, you know, it, whatever works for me at the time. Um, but I like, uh, the consistency of the, of the, the labels, uh, especially for, um, for, uh, my tags. Uh, my tags are, uh, something that I, I, I look at all the time and I want, I want to make sure that it's, it's pretty, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's something that, that I work with a lot, so I want it to be pretty. And basically all I did before with the other ones, these are the ones that I, let me pull them out here. Um, I made one for the, the front that says May 2021. And then I made one for uh, the weeklies. These that I'm cutting out now, I need to designate where the weeks are starting so I like to have a tab for that okay and then um, 
I made another one for my menus. Uh, I do have a book, uh, a composition notebook that I made for uh, uh, menu ideas and uh, suggestions and um, things like uh, counting calories and that kind of thing. Um, and I, I use it weekly. Whenever I, I make my menus, I, I use it. Uh, but I like to go ahead and decide what I want to make ahead of time so that I can buy the groceries for that. Uh, I love menu planning. So um, I go ahead and I put one of those, I put the copy of it inside my current journal. So that way I don't have to go open up another book to find out what I'm eating each day. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, so I'm going to continue to cut this. Oh, you know what? I didn't make the tabs either. Here, let me make the tabs real quick. In fact, I think I'm going to um, make the tabs and speed it up so that it doesn't take so much time. Okay. Okay, so I used my tab hole punch to uh, make my uh, uh, tabs, and I got this on Amazon, and I will link it below. I love that thing. And I used a regular uh, manila envelope. That's all I used. Uh, I love using these, uh, not envelope, um, file. I used just a regular file, and uh, they make the perfect um, tabs. I just love them. Aren't they awesome? They're just, I love them. I use them every, almost every single time. So, um, that's that. And then I went ahead and, um, uh, put ink on all of the, the, uh, labels that I made. I used my dauber. Uh, I will link this below. And I used, uh, this ink, it's gathered twigs. It's wonderful. It's the one I'm using right now um, because it's it's on my desktop. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So let's see. Um, let me get these off of here. And I decided I went through all of these things that I printed up, and they just um, they're not they're not calling to me. So I'm not going to use them. Uh, I changed my mind. So what I did was I went through and I counted all the pages um, and I'm going to put my uh, spreads for the week uh, on two, two separate pages, Monday through Thursday here and Friday through Sunday and then notes on the bottom. And then uh, I'm going to put uh, enough pages in between the weeks to write at least a page uh, for each day. So this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then extra notes here if I need them. 
and then on this page I'm going to start again with the week okay um, I haven't glued these down yet and then it starts back again with Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then notes and then the next week okay so uh, I figured out all the pages for that uh, to the last week and then on this one I'm going to do menus uh, like I said before uh, I want to put the menus down so I know uh, what I'm having this week uh, for each week so I like having them in the same book and so I have a page for for each week here so week one week two week three week four week five and then notes and then here is uh, the list page I like to make lists I'm a list maker um, so that can encompass all kinds of things and I have a lot of pages left just for that so um, what I decided was on the papers that I have that I'm going to use I just I really love these papers they're they look very country to me very pretty very uh, very nostalgic okay and then I decided to use the um, the photographs that I went through and found um, actually these were printed from someplace and I don't remember where I printed them but they were a whole bunch of them on one sheet and I just went through and, and cut them out and so I like these the way that they go with each one of these so that's how I'm going to put them like that and then this one for this one so there you go um, and these are just going to be covering the dividers so um, the first divider is going to be um, here I'm going to put something here to cover up the first page and I think let's see what should I do for the first page I like this one and these chicks are looking at us like what are you looking at <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do for the front so that is that then I'm going to put the month of May here and then um, goals page right here and then I go straight into I'm going to have a, another sheet here that designates the weeks and I think I'm going to use um, yeah I like these so I'm gonna have the roses here and this is for the weeks all right and then all the weeks are gonna follow through and then this is going to be the menus let's see I think I'm going to do this blue one for the menus all right the young bride and her handsome husband maybe he'll learn to cook what do you think all right and then the lists are here somewhere here it is all right and then this little kid with his uh I don't know it's a nanny goat <laughs> riding on a little wagon so that's the one that's gonna go here okay so I have a lot of work to do I'm going to glue these on to the page uh, that I picked out and then I need to glue these on to the pages uh, then I need to add these uh, tabs to the pages that I stuck on uh, I think I'm gonna do like I did last month I'm going to put the weeks uh, on this side and then the other ones on the top there so uh, let me start to gluing uh, I may fast forward it so that you can see I think I will do that yeah uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing and get this together and uh, y'all can watch while I do it and then I will be back
Okay, so I went fast forward for the uh, part where I put the um, the calendars down, but I don't know if it's going to take too long uh, for the overall time for the for the video. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'll, you'll either not see it or you will see it. So we'll see after after I get all this done. So this is how the the front looks. I'm really happy with it. I used um, throughout. I used these two washi tapes. Uh, I really like this one. It came in a lot of different colors. Um, I got it on Amazon, and I will link it below. Uh, does it say? It says Miss Time on there, but I don't know if that's. I don't know. Um, that's what it looks like inside. But anyway, uh, and I use this one too, and I have no idea where this one came from. If I can find a link to it, I will link it below. All right. Um, so this is what I've got so far. Um, I just used up the rest of, oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> I lost my week one, and I could not find that booger, and it was in here. My trash. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> Um, behind the scenes fun. So uh, I used up what was left of the craft paper that I had cut off from the roll and this is what I have left of it. So I put it, I put it all here. I'm so glad I was able to use it uh, and I just stuck some of the, um, the uh, washi tape on here just to make it pretty. So I made a pocket out of leftovers from this page uh, right here. I love having uh, a pocket here because I put all kinds of things in there. Um, this is uh, April's and I have all kinds of stuff shoved in here. You know, I really didn't like having the side tuck. So I went back to the, uh, to the pocket at the bottom. So that's what I'm going with. All right. So uh, let's see. So this is the month. Uh, I printed it out from printacalendar.com. I love that website. It's all free. Um, and they send me a reminder every single week. I mean, every single month to go there and print my calendar. So I do. <laughs> uh, and I love it. So y'all saw how I put this paper on. And I just stuck some uh, washi tape on here. And here is my monthly calendar that I printed up. All I did was um, put a little bit of... Um, uh, gathered twigs around the edges with my dauber and that's all I did I just stuck it on here with my um, glue stick scotch creek glue stick uh, also I wanted to share with you I try to share with y'all all kinds of tips if I can uh, I just found out this recently not too long ago um, that if you use baby powder this is it's just basically talc that's all that baby powder is um, but if you put it on something that's sticky uh, it makes it uh, not be sticky anymore I love this I love it so you're gonna see piles of little powder throughout I'm feeling for sticky okay so there was some sticky right here okay so here is the other um, washi tape that I used right here and this picture right here I may do something else to this page I don't know so this uh, tab says month this one says goals and as you can see I go right to the weeks um, I miscounted my uh, my pages see I make mistakes <laughs> uh, I miscounted my pages so I don't have a goals page so what I thought I would do is I have this left over from another project and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it and put my goals on it and just do like a flip here. Let's see, try to use up as much as this paper as I can. Okay. And I think I'm just going to do like a flip here, possibly. I don't know. Or flip here. I'm just going to put it right here for the moment and let me think on it. I may even take some of this um, paper that I have left and glue it to it so that it's more stable. I might do that. But this is what I'm going to write my goals on. So this is my goal page <laughs> officially. 
all right um, then I start in on the weeks and like I said I um, <clears throat> excuse me I uh, I miscounted my pages so I was supposed to have an extra page that I could put my um, weeks my weekly heading on like right here but of course I do not have that extra page so I'm not going to be able to do that so I'm we're going to roll with the punches and go right into um, the first week I just heard something fall and I don't know what it was but okay um, so the first week I, like I showed you these are the tabs at the top and I'm going to put the weekly tabs on the side uh, I did that last month um, right here and I loved it I love using that uh, I can just put my finger on it and turn to the week that we're in and I just I love it so that is what I'm going to do and I haven't put these um, where is my oh I lost my little doohickey that has all my my trash in it this is this drives me crazy when I lose something oh here it is duh okay so um, I'm going to put my tabs along the side and I wanted to bring you all along to do that because a lot of people ask me how I do my tabs and so I'm showing you okay so this is week one and I'm just going to put it right here okay and then um, I haven't dated these of course so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then notes, and then week two, okay? So I'm going to do this for the rest of the weeks, and I like to put a little bit of extra glue, because sometimes um, the double-sided sticky tape that I have on the back of these, uh, I use these a lot. My uh, you know, I'm I'm constantly going back and forth to uh, the different weeks, so I wanted to make sure that it stayed on. Just like that. Okay, let me look. Yep. Okay. All right, so, and I like to go through the week and make sure that the, I have the same, <laughs> the right amount of pages. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and notes. And then the week three. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know it may seem excessive to some of y'all, but uh, I, I hate missing a day. I mean, I can always tip in one. I can, I can, uh... Uh, tape one in I, I can do all kinds of different things to add the uh, a page but if I get everything stuck on there it'll be harder you know what I'm saying okay so that's week three okay Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and notes and then we've got week four. Woohoo! Love it when a plan comes together. So I love doing this. I love making these. Um, I've been using composition notebooks since forever. I mean, I can't remember when I didn't use them. Um, they're so convenient. They really are. I just, I love the way they're made. I love how cheap they are. Okay. I got baby powder all up in here. Did I tell you that I got this at the Dollar Tree? I mean, that's a really good price for all that baby powder. Okay. But I do not have any more sticky pages. Woohoo! All right. So here we go. Last week, week five. If you hear something running, that's my little heater beside me. Uh, it got cold <laughs> here in Tennessee. Um, we were 
up in the 70s and then all of a sudden we went back down into the 30s yep our uh, our weather is cuckoo crazy so yeah all right so i'm going to stick this right here awesome okay so those are all my weeks Okay, and then I did the menu page. I may do something else to these pages or not. Um, they're pretty simple. And then I have my list page. And I use the same washi tape that I used before. Okay, and then that was it. And there you go. I have May all set up. I really like this, it's really pretty. Uh, I don't do anything to the back page. I, I don't usually do that when it's just for me um, because I don't look at the back page. Um, last month, I didn't do it either. <laughs> and I really love this page. It's, it, I, I like looking at it, so that means I go into it. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm making things that I like so that I can use them. Um, this is really cute, and I really like the, the washi tape here on the side. It looks like it was meant to be on there, doesn't it? Awesome. Cool beans. All right. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, this was a lot of fun. I really, I really like when y'all hang out with me and I do these. Um, and I like explaining and giving y'all tips. Uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of this. Um, was there anything on here that I didn't explain well enough for you? Um, so, yeah. That's what I've got going on, and uh, until next time, peace out.